at this point, the governing equations plus the additional equations are completely defined. So if I go back to my PowerPoint, okay, so those equations are turned on, the equilibrium equations with zero body forces. We have specified the constants in the constitutive model as well as, you know, we've turned on these terms and we have, we're controlling, you know, when those terms get turned on. And there, this has been turned on uh, by default by the tool, the strain displacements. So the governing equations and additional equations are completely defined and we can move to boundary conditions. And we'll go to the essential boundary conditions first. Okay, the first essential boundary condition is the symmetric condition from periodicity. And then we have the frictionless support at the top. Um, that is, okay, so let's, uh, let's apply, let's go and take a look at the essential boundary conditions and apply what we need to. So I'll go into mechanical. If I highlight symmetry here, there's a symmetry region uh, over here, and so if I zoom into the model, and if I manipulate it, so I'll say rotate about this point, okay? So that's a symmetry plane, and that's come in by default because of the symmetry in the geometry, uh, imposed in the geometry. And similarly, symmetry region two is the one behind over here, that's highlighted over here. So if I zoom in here, and that means that both these surfaces can displace only parallel to itself and there can be no displacement perpendicular to the surface. And then the only remaining essential boundary condition is the frictionless support at the top that's modeling the connection to the, um, to the top part of the nozzle, which we're not modeling. Um, so if I zoom in here, and again, let me say, rotate about there, okay, so that I can see that face. And I'll select the face selection filter, select that face, and come back to static structural, and say supports, frictionless support. And again, that means that the displacements normal to that surface have to be zero. Uh, and the tangential traction has to be zero. So I can say zoom to fit here. And that completes the definition of the essential boundary conditions. So we can move to um, specifying the natural or traction boundary conditions.